I think I'm going to get into trouble for demonstrating that shortcut for the quadratic formula with other math teachers because I showed you that shortcut. It's absolutely valid. And it always works, but you got to be careful how you execute it. So don't go executing the quadratic formula in some really weird way and then say, well, my differential equations teacher taught me a different way to do the quadratic formula. There is only one way. So let me do two quick demos here and see if I can explain it better on paper. Look at lambda squared plus lambda plus 4 equals 0. Traditional quadratic formula, opposite of b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2. You simplify that, minus 1 plus or minus square root of minus 15 over 2. Keep simplifying, and you write the answer in standard form. That's minus a half plus or minus square root of 15 over 2 i. Now, the shortcut I showed you was take half of the opposite of the number in front of lambda, half the opposite of b, that's minus half, and square it, that's one fourth. One fourth is how far shy of four? One fourth is shy of four, it's less than four. Four is 16 fourths, so one fourth is 15 fourths shy of four. So I say minus one half plus or minus the square root of 15 over 4i. i because I'm short of 4. And when I simplify that, it simplifies quickly to minus 1 half plus or minus root 15 over 2i. Essentially, I was substituting into the quadratic formula just very quickly. If I'm shy of 4, I'm going to have imaginary numbers. If I was past 4, I would have no imaginary numbers, just a plus minus. So for a demo, look at this one. Lambda squared minus 6 lambda minus 16 equals 0. Traditional quadratic formula gives me a perfect square underneath. And so I end up with 3 plus or minus 5, negative 2 plus 8. I'm just showing you a shortcut to get to the 3 plus or minus 5. So watch. Take half of the opposite of the number in front of the lambda. So instead of minus 6, I'll start with 3. Square 3 gives me 9. 9 has gone past minus 16. How far past? 25 units past. So I add plus or minus the square root of 25. No i here because I went past minus 16. So the answer is 3 plus or minus root 25, which is 3 plus or minus 5, which is minus 2 plus 8. See, the technique I'm giving you here is just a silly shortcut to get you to the 3 plus or minus 5, or to get you to the minus 1 half plus or minus root 15 over 2i. So again, the opposite of half the number in front of the b, square it, and if you're shy of the number c here, if you're less than it, you take the square root of that less than difference, attach an i to it. If you're past the number c, and you just take the square root of how far past you are without the i, and that turns out to be equivalent to the quadratic formula. Have fun, but use it carefully, and maybe check your work a few times with the quadratic formula just to make sure you're not getting yourself into trouble. I didn't mean to give you something that would introduce extra errors into your paper.